the very language of magic seems to be talking as much about writing or art as it is about supernatural events. A grimoire, for example, the Book of Spells, is simply a fancy way of saying grammar. Indeed, to cast a spell is simply to spell. One of the classic plots of card magic is a card is selected, lost in the deck, and then the magician finds it by spelling the name of the card, dealing out one card for each letter. Now, it's a very common, popular trick, but it's, I love this trick because uh, it actually taps into some really ancient mythologies. Uh, the word spell. The word spell uh, can mean to spell something or a magic spell. And we think of them as completely separate meanings now, but they were one and the same ones. Uh, a word like abracadabra, which is Aramaic for I create by speaking, uh, it actually was, they often spelled out that word to unleash its magical powers. Words are incredibly magical. In the ancient world, I think they still are. I mean, you look at creation myths from around the world, so many myths begin the universe itself with the word. And God said, in the beginning was the word. That's a lot of heft for a card trick. <laughs> so, we're gonna do this, but I'm not gonna have you choose a card. Uh, 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 and I'm not going to manipulate this with sleight of hand. We're going to keep it as simple as and impossible as it could possibly be. Uh, I want you to just think of a card. Just think of any card. And I'll look away. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to cut the card several times. Cut. And complete the cut. No, do it again. Okay. I want you to have no idea where the card is. Complete the cut. Good. Do you know where the card is in the deck? No, I'm doing it. Okay. Would you pick it up and put it in your left hand so you can deal the cards? Okay. Now, let's just go over this. You've thought of a card. Mm -hmm. One of 52. There's no way I could know what card you were thinking of. And you don't know where it is in the deck. No. Okay. We're going to have you spell it out, one card for every letter in the name of the card, and it will be on the last card you deal, the S. Okay. That will be your card, not before, not after, that card, okay? Okay. Okay, well, what was the name of your card? Two of hearts. Two of hearts, okay, so please spell it out. Right there, face up. T, W, O, O, F, H. S. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. That's Spellcaster. Thanks, baby. You're my daughter. Yeah, hi. <laughs> but she's not a stooge. <laughs> So that is Spellcaster, a super clean version of the spelling plot. I know there are some wonderful versions, multi-phase, um, multiple selection versions of the spelling plot. To me, sometimes it can get to be a little bit much dealing this, dealing that. Um, and I, I, I wanted to go the other way. Just do it once, you spread out the cards, have a, a total free choice to think of a card, and then um, they cut the cards a couple times and deal and boom. It always, you, there's no ambiguity in them. You always know that it's gonna be on that final card, that the, uh, the chosen card. So uh, it's, it's, it's really strong and it allows you, because of its uh, streamlined nature, it allows you to build up the presentation at the beginning of the effect. Um, it does require a gimmick deck. Uh, I have a limited number of these in stock. After that, uh, they are probably not going to be back in stock, probably not. Um, or you can get an instant download. When I say instant, I mean instant-ish. Give us several hours, because we may be sleeping, depending on where you are. Uh, but, uh, and, and you can get instructions how to make one of these. It takes you 15, 20 minutes to make, um, 10, 20 bucks. Um, and you can, it's, it's pretty easy, the handling is easy, you can add all the false shuffles and cuts that you like, uh, but I didn't even do that in this presentation. Uh, so, Spellcaster, thanks very much.